One of the most controversial youth detention centers lies in the heart of Mississippi. Throughout its operation, it was the subject of several investigations. Violence and abuse by staff led to its closure. What do you know about the Walnut Grove Correctional Facility? Let's take a look. Located in central Mississippi, where the heat and humidity of summer makes you feel like you're melting, the prison opened in 2001 and was part of a series of four different prisons that opened under private companies. During this time, many towns in Mississippi were trying to attract the prisons in order to bring economic growth to their struggling town. The facility would open with 321 inmates, but by 2009, it would house over 1,000. With expansions, the prison would have a total capacity of over 1,200 making it the largest youth facility in the country. Wana Grove was first operated by Geo Group. In 2012, the contract was terminated. A new 10-year contract was then signed with Management and Training Corporation. In 2006, the facility age was higher, moving to 21. An audit showed that the staff-to-inmate ratio hovered around 1 to 60. A 2017 federal guideline stipulated that this ratio should be 1 to 8 during waking hours. At these levels, violence was not if, but when. In 2010, a class action lawsuit was filed against GEO due to the conditions at the facility. The complaint noted that 67% of the offenders at Walnut Grove were there due to non-violent offenses. It also noted that they exploited them by selling drugs in the facility. It went on to say that youth, handcuffed and defenseless, have been kicked, punched, and beaten all over their bodies. Chemical spray was also used in excess. Following the investigation, the Department of Justice delivered its findings to the governor of Mississippi. They found it to be, quote, among the worst we have ever seen in any facility anywhere in the nation. The report even noted that some of the staff members were known gang members. Mississippi responded to the report saying, unfortunately, the contract does not stipulate the mandatory staffing levels and requirements. In 2014, a riot broke out at the facility on New Year's Eve. At least 18 inmates were transported to a local hospital after suffering injuries. MTC Corp downplayed the incident saying, only some inmates were injured. They added that the incident was due to gang violence. The founder of the group Friends and Family of Youth Incarcerated at Walnut Grove said, It's a lot of stabbings going on. You know we had inmates that have lost an eye. My son, in particular, has brain damage. The end of the facility was here. In June 2016, the state announced that the facility would be closing due to budget reasons. The mayor of Walnut Grove said the move would cripple the town. The state still owed over $153 million on the bond, which ends in 2028. The state had borrowed over $90 million in 2010 for an expansion. The FBI had opened an investigation into the facility called Operation Mississippi Hustle. They would uncover corruption and kickbacks involving state officials and a consultant. The consultant Sultan Robert Simmons was convicted in the scandal and sentenced to over seven years in prison. He was responsible for bribing the government officials. The mayor of Walnut Grove, William Sims, pled guilty and received a seven-month sentence. The biggest conviction and sentence was Chris Epps, the corrections commissioner. He received an estimated $1.47 million in bribes for awarding state contracts. He was sentenced to eight and a half years in prison. Walnut Grove was quite possibly one of the most corrupt prisons to have ever existed. Offenders there suffered abuse at the hands of staff while leaders were receiving cold hard cash. Ironically, some of the people responsible for the abuse were locked away for years. If you enjoy this content, like and subscribe. Also, click the playlist here for more prison profiles. See you next time.